Vampire Hunter Sim. A game about betraying your friends and watching them suffer, grinding your life away, vandalism, and much, much more. And if you don't know what vampires for some reason, they're basically just eating mosquitoes. So for our first hour or so of gameplay, most players will spend that time creating their character with the limited amount of options they have. After a lot of grinding or if gang, most players will have enough money to buy clothes to make themselves look as anime as humanly possible. Unlike other murder mystery type games, this one has vampires, obviously. Your job as a vampire is mercilessly to drink the blood of the innocent survivors for no real reason other than to make people suffer. Fun, right? Your only real fear is a vampire is the sun, garlic, and hunters. The hunters are there to kill the vampires and get their fangs and sell them on the black market. Because, how else are these people getting paid? The hunter also has an option of keeping the survivors safe or just letting them die. In most other games, the survivor's only purpose is to be a meat shield to the only person who's smart enough to bring a freaking gun. But in this game, survivors actually have a purpose in life and brought special equipment to fend off the vampires. Everyone in the game has a set of equipment of their choosing. Weapons, barricades, and medkits are just a few out of the plethora of unique items that you can use to prevent yourself from turning into a vampire's midnight cup of coffee. And if you really want to not die, then I suggest you use perks. Perks for humans are pretty simple, like stealth or more health. Hey, yeah, that rhymed. Vampires also have perks. Technically, they're called abilities. But they're a lot cooler than the human perks. It's almost as if the dev wanted vampires to be more interesting. These abilities include going invisible, causing blackouts, infecting humans, and a whole lot more. Why enter a room through the door like a normie when you can smash through a window and commit a crime by breaking and entering? Breaking things in games is very fun. That's what I do most of the time during a game. Broken pieces of furniture, though, can be used to tell if someone has entered a room. It also indicates if a vampire attack has happened, especially if there's a broken barricade near the entrance of the room. That's my 10,000 IQ advice to tell all of you. Usually in these games, you will most likely come across teamers, and by most likely, I mean every single server, you will have that one group of friends trying to think this is a role playing game on a date and a <laughs> Teaming is not cool, and if you're a teamer, please stop. Please. Other than that teaming issue, this game is a 10 out of 10. I love playing Vampire Hunters 2 and it was very sad to see that game die out. So playing this brings back memories and I hope you all enjoy it too. But really, get the freaking teamers out!